All right, hello, Woody. What's up? My name is Rapcat45. Here and today, um, actually, you're gonna see what I've already packed because I was gonna do this like the first part where I tell you what I'm gonna do and then I do it and then I show you what it looks like after. That's what I was doing, but then I got sick and threw up. So I just decided I'll just pack everything and then show you what I packed, which actually I think is gonna be a little bit better of a video because it's not gonna jump around and stuff. So I think that's just how I'm gonna do it from now on. Um, but you guys can tell me down in the comments which one you like better if you want me to tell you what I'm going to do, do it, you know, pause the video and then go back to it, or just do everything and then show you what I've done. And I'm thinking the second one is probably A, better to, wa better to watch, and B, I think it'll just be more fascinating uh, of a video. I think it'll just be more fun to watch in general. So, anyways, um... As you can see, all my controllers are packed. Um, I don't think I'm actually going to really protect them more than they are now. If they have cords, I use the cords to kind of cushion them from hitting anything else. Um, this isn't the best way, but we just don't have enough packing materials and not enough time since we're moving in like three days. Um, and, you know, I got to pack other stuff than just this Nintendo stuff, which, by the way, is looking very empty and sad now. Um, but, yeah, so all the controllers are packed um, there. Here's quite a few of the games. This is basically all the games um, except for, you know, these are just cases for 3DS and DS games. The, the games aren't actually in them because they're in my uh, DS case, so, and same with the Switch, um, Switch cases, so they're just in there be uh, for, because that's just made sense where to put them, um, and then over here is just the accessories, which most of these, actually all of these cases have um, something in them, so, uh, like this, these two here have two DS's in them, uh, this has a DSi and a DSi XL. This has got my Game Boy. This has got my Game Boy Pocket. Uh, this has got a DS Lite. So, like, th all of these cases are filled with uh, stuff. This also has some D uh, Game Boy games that I'm not really going to play until I unpack. Until I unpack. <coughs> Sorry. Choked a mile spit. Um, but it's got, it's got Game Boy games and a few Game Boy Color games that I'm, I don't really super care to play. So they're in here until I unpack them. Uh, there's only one game in here that I actually w kind of want to play, but I'm probably not going to end up doing it, so that's why I put it in there. And there's the, you know, the DS charger, uh, or the 3DS charger for the original 3DS. I want to get the charging stands for, oh, whoa, hey, focus. Um, I want to get charging stands for all, all of the 3DSs that have a charging stand built for them so basically all of them except for the 2ds and the new 2ds xl those are the only two that don't have one uh so there's, yeah here's a wii stand right here uh here's the remote to my other tv my old fl older flat screen wii u charging stand uh wii u gamepad charging stand just you know some ch chargers and stuff which actually i need to grab a few 3ds chargers and a uh a game boy Advanced SP charger or original DS charger, whatever it's the same thing. And here at the bottom is all my consoles, which I used blankets to wrap around them and then put them in there, which is kind of a double whammy because A, you pack in, I'm packing my consoles and the blankets, so it's actually kind of it's actually really nice. Um, and then here I got a few more 3DS cases that wouldn't fit in that bin. Uh, here are my Connects figures. Uh, this is the Minecraft Creeper egg, and the Creeper's in there. Um, obviously, all the cables for the consoles, so like power adapters and um, AV slash HDMI. Um, what's in this? Has got oh this uh this has got the original Game Boy batteries in them. So I didn't really know where to put them, so they're just in there. Um, and then here's all a ton of plushies and. The Yarn Yoshi amiibos, which are surrounding this Pokemon, the Pokemon Plus, because, or the Pokeball Plus, rather, sorry, see, and just because I didn't really know where to put it, and it felt like I was going to destroy it if I put it in there, so I just made a nest of plushies and to keep that in, so that ain't going to go anywhere, especially because this is the top of the bin, um, so I'm thinking that should be okay. And if it isn't, then that's my own dumb fault. But it's only a th three hour trip, so I'm not super planning on like things to go terribly wrong. 
Um, I guess I probably should be, but I'm not. So <laughs> that's that's how things get broke, I guess. This is probably not my best work, but this is where um, 99 percent of my boxes are. The only one that isn't is this Pikachu mug, because. I didn't know where to put the Pikachu mug, so it wouldn't break. I'm like, oh, I'll just put it back in the box. But I'm like, well, that's pretty heavy, so if I put it on top of any of these, it's just going to crush the boxes. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet, but that's where that is. Um, that's where it's like 99%. Um, but yeah, here's all my other boxes. So the big sturdy boxes are at the bottom. Like I think the bottom of this one is... Um, not entirely sure, actually. I don't even remember what I put down here. Um, I don't know, but there's some sturdy boxes, and then as it filled up, I'd do lighter and lighter. Um, and same in here. Like, this has got the Wii... Oh, the Switch boxes are in here, which those are sturdy. I got two of them in there. And then this one's got the Wii, Wii U box and the Lego Dimensions, which are both big boxes. And then, as you can see, there's the... Uh, what is that? That's the DSi XL, and then of course I got my Game Boy one up top because this thing is mint, and if it gets placed anywhere else, it's gonna get absolutely crushed. So I'm thinking this will work. And like here, I like you know here's my good 3DS, new 3DS box. Here's the bad one. So the bad one's cushioning that one, you know. So it is kind of smartly laid out, They're geniusly. Like well, I just ruined that. Um, so it. I at least did put some thought into it. Uh, so, like I said, three and a half hour trip. The roads aren't that bumpy because it's mostly just highway. I think it'll be okay. I'm hoping. Crossing fingers. And, like, if, you know, if something breaks, it's not like I'm going to die. So, I guess I'm not super worried about it. Especially because I, I got everything here in one piece. Uh, so, I'm not super worried about that. Um... Yeah, so there's all the console boxes. They have nothing in them. Except for Nintendo Switch. Um, yeah, which I'll get on to in a minute. So the only things really I have left to pack is this, are these uh, mints, Nintendo Power Mints, the Pikachu mug, by all three of my Game Boy Colors. Which actually, funny enough, I didn't pay for any of these because this one was my cousin's, this one was my cousin's, and this one was my cousin's. All th like three cousins gave me a Game Boy Color. Uh, except for this, I guess it's technically a second cousin, but yeah, I didn't pay for all three of these Game Boy co Colors, um, which is really interesting. But this one I like because it's in really good condition, and it's got it's got the back battery cover. This one doesn't. It's not in super great condition, but it works just fine, so I'm keeping it. Um, and then this one isn't in super great condition, but it's it's got the battery cover, and it's the Pokemon one, but it's not in good condition, so it's not worth a ton. But it does look cool from the front. The front actually is in fairly good condition. And then I couldn't fit my original DS, my three new 3DS, and my two new 2DS XL. Those are so those these are the six handheld consoles that don't have a home yet. So what I'm probably gonna have to do is wrap them in a blanket and put them you know, in a box. This is basically everything else here is going to be put in a box, unless I say otherwise, because I don't have enough room in what I have here. So, here's my uh, hat, my uh, NES hat, which I don't actually wear a ton. I think I've only worn it like twice in public. I just, I'm not really a hat kind of a guy, so even though I have like four hats, um, I guess I take that back. I like there's one hat I like to wear a lot, but it's not this. I don't know. I just that's not the type of hat I wear. Um, but it does look cool. I gotta admit, like when I wear it, I don't look bad. It's just I don't normally wear those hats. Um, here's a uh, the gaming watch that is my friend's, but he's letting me borrow. So actually, since I'm moving back up north, I'll probably give that back to him. Uh, this is just a 3DS uh, cartridge holder. Well, that's not exactly the bin I wanted to go on. More there. There you go. Um, I don't know why I have that, but if I want to carry a singular game with me, that's how I do it. Uh, this is Super Smash Bros. Melee, because I don't have a case for it, so I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with that. Because you can't stack them in one case, because there's just not enough room. So, And I packed both my GameCubes, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this. But I'll figure it out. Um... Cause I'm probably not gonna wrap it in a blanket because even that will probably still break it. So, um, then I got the mushroom candy uh, tin that 
that's here. And then this Pac-Man rock that my grandma made me. So, um, obviously I haven't packed this because it'll destroy literally anything and everything in my collection if I pack it. So I'm not, I haven't packed it yet and dust. Um, but I think I'm just going to put this in one of my backpacks, so that way it's not it's not going to break everything. Uh, NES Advantage, um, I might end up putting in here, but it's going to crush all these other controllers. Well, kind of, maybe. Um, I don't know, so I'll have to figure something out for that. Then here's my, uh, my Super Smash Bros. Ultimate pin, which I got for pre-ordering the game. Well, I say I pre-ordered it, but my dad did for my birthday since Smash Bros. like came out like stupid close to my birthday um and then here these are just three used nintendo eShop cards that i like and then here's that extra link uh ar card i have and then up here they're just my amiibos which i gotta find a home for like i said the rest of the stuff is gonna go to the box because i don't have bins and then there's the smash bros ultimate um frame which i need to get a better frame for because this one's way too big for that poster so i'll have to get a better one uh this is technically already packed oh yeah i gotta pack speakers and stuff but that, that'll, that'll be for later uh that speakers will probably end up going with a tv so the only things that aren't actually gonna get packed is uh oh and these pokemon cards and well and you know, ar cards and stuff um these are all going to uh, get packed. I just gotta figure out how in a safe way. Um, which I guess that doesn't really matter because none of these are super collectible. They're just displayed really. The Pokemon cards I have are junk so they're not really worth, they're not worth anything. But all the Switch stuff is displayed because my grandma and grandpa have a TV in the basement which is where I'm gonna be sleeping. Um, and you know when we live in, because we're, we're gonna have to live in my grandma and grandpa's for a little bit like hopefully only a week or two. And um, they, so I'm going to bring all my Switch stuff because my cousins go over to my grand grandpa's house a lot. So then we can play Switch and stuff. And um, yeah, and it'll, it'll basically just be a console I can play. They do have a Wii U there. So the only thing I did pack for the Switch is the, the little adapter that you can use to play GameCube controllers with for Smash Bros. But they have one for their Wii U, so I can just plug that into my Switch dock and then I can use theirs. So that's why I packed that. Um, but yeah, I'm basically going to take all of the, all of these controllers, accessories, dock, you know, and basically all the Switch stuff I'm going to take with me, um, just so if I have, you know, if one of my cousins come over, we can play, or if my, you know, my dad and my sister and I want to play, then we can do that. Um, and then the only, the other stuff that isn't getting packed is this is my Game Boy, my Game Boy Advance. Uh, this is my 3DS XL. This is a link cable for the Game Boy Advance slash Game Boy Advance SP. Um, because in here I have my Game Boy Advance SP and then my new 3DS XL. And the reason I'm bringing this with me is because my at my the school I'm going to at gym or uh, yeah the school I'm going to back or going back to which was my old school. Um, I have two friends in the marching band, that, and I'm going into marching band there, but they have two friends that will easily play Game Boy Advance with me on the bus, because my best friend has a Game Boy Advance, and then one of my other friends has a Game Boy Advance, so that's why I'm bringing that, or not packing that, it's because, well, since I'm bringing my Game Boy Advance, advances, and then, um, because, uh, they, they have games that, that we can connect and play. Um, that's why I'm bringing it. It's because I know I'm going to be. I know I'm going to use this uh, with my friends. So because they like they love Game Boy Advance, and I don't blame them. It's a very good console. But the reason I'm bringing two Game Boy Advance and not just like my SP or whatever is because my SP for whatever reason the bumpers don't work, which is really odd because they click. So either they're just connected or they are just broke, which I don't know. I guess it's not impossible that they click and don't work, but they seem completely fine, so it's kind of, it's just odd. So that's why I'm bringing this one, because in case I need to play a game with bumpers, I can, I can. But that's, but it makes the SP a really good console for Game Boy and Game Boy uh, Color games, because you don't need the bumpers. 
so you can see in the dark and stuff. And, and like Pokemon, you, I don't think you... Pokemon Ruby, at least as far as I've gotten in that game, I don't need to use bumpers yet. So I can play Pokemon Ruby without with on that. Um, so that's why I brought two, is because one's better for some things and the other is better for other things. So at least in my scenario. So those are my other handhelds that I am or my handhelds that I am not packing. Which I guess technically that is, but it's also technically not. So that's basically what I have to do left and then obviously pack uh these the two um uh whatever these uh, freaking actually actually all three of my uh extension cord thingies i forget what you call these with the extra outlets and stuff um i gotta pack all three of them because i had this one for my old tv oh i guess i do already have a game boy advance sp charger out cool um yeah, because this one was used on my older TV, and then my new TV, I've actually got two, um, which is probably the unsafest way to do this, but I <laughs> plugged that one into this one, um, which I know is not safe, so that's why I'm not doing it like that at the new house. Um, it just, how my dad set this up, I kind of had to, um, but yeah, so the only thing we plugged into a plugged into these right now is this is the TV I don't know what that black one oh that that black one those are the speakers and then that's my Nintendo switch uh, the switch AC adapter so that's all that's back, uh, back there um, and then obviously the only other cable running down is um, HDMI because I'm gonna leave it plugged into this TV until a the TV gets packed or be we move so then I'll just take you know I'll take my entire switch and dock and stuff oh and then yeah I guess here's my switch case but I guess you probably could figure that uh, so yeah not a ton left uh, my dad's supposed to be coming home from work today with more boxes so I'm actually probably gonna end up packing the rest of this to today but obviously you guys won't see the video till a little bit later in fact you're not gonna see all three of my pack uh, packing the Nintendo Room, and then, you know, building Nintendo Room 3, because I'm going to make this all into one playlist, so you guys can watch them all, and, you know, simultaneously, um, especially if you guys haven't, you know, you're watching them after they've been uploaded, um, yeah, so I'm going to, um, I don't even know what I was saying, I was some, but, oh yeah, my dad, but my dad is, uh, packing, bringing boxes, so I can pack the rest of this and then be done uh, with that. Which actually I gotta put these two Xbox, the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One away, which are my dad's. So I'm basically gonna pack them for him because that's that's the Xbox box. So, uh, so yeah. Um, but you guys aren't gonna see these videos for a little while because well. I only have one video left, like one actual video that isn't me packing things, and that is uh, uh, that is Nintendo Land the the Zelda uh, mode with uh, my my friends Ryan and Ethan. Um, that's the really the last video that is that has, is going to come out, and I'm probably going to do it this week. Which I'm saying this, but this video is going to come out in like two three weeks, um, and then. Uh, and that's kind of it. And I don't even know what I'm going to film anymore after that because most of my Nintendo stuff's going to be away. So, so yeah, if I don't upload videos for a while, that's why. Um, but I, I'm hope, like I said, I'm hoping it's not a huge gap until I have to start, and then I can start building my new Nintendo room. And uh, yeah, but um, anyways. Um, Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, look out for, you know, part three of the um, the Nintendo, you know, room tour, or not the Nintendo room tour, but me taking down the Nintendo room, and then especially for when I'm building the new Nintendo room, because I think that's going to be a ton cooler. But hey, uh, if you guys have any suggestions for my new Nintendo room, like anything cool that you guys think I should definitely do, or whatever, let me know. Um, and I'll definitely try to do it if uh, if I like it. If I don't really like it, then I probably won't. I, well, yeah, I probably really won't end up doing it. But if I do like your idea, 
I, I'm probably going to do it because I, I have an idea of how I want to design my new Nintendo room, but I don't have an exact, like, idea of, like, that's the one I want, you know. So, Leah, feel free to leave ideas down in the comments. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.